a lot of people say the game Yeeps is very toxic. And I don't really disagree with them because it is quite true. So in today's video, I'm going to be finding five of those toxic people. Let's get on with it. Okay, look at me. Girl, look at me. Girl, look at me. Ooh, sky base. Nope. I've watched you fall support all of us. Buddy, Even me? It. What did I do to them? Uh, I don't know. Existed. Hi there, guys. Like Yo, this guy, he griefed more than, he griefed more than three times. That's three. I interviewed some people about toxicity, and I think they had some pretty valid information. So while playing Yeeps, what has your experience been with toxicity and little kids? Uh, so I remember on my first day of Yeeps, all I was trying to do was to buy my private server and play with my friends because I had just found the game from Gods of Gravity. And I'm pretty sure it was the first day of Yeeps. So everyone was like new. They really didn't know how to play. Not many people had many items. And the game was a really good, like, fun game. Not many people were being, like, rude. No one was being toxic or racist. And it was just, like, a nice, wholesome game. All right. And how do you think Toxicity started? Like, what what set things in motion? Um, I feel like... Probably like the fact that like we could pick up pillows and then people started to grief like faces and that made some people angry and then they became toxic and then it just started like a, you know domino effect basically all right so when did toxicity begin for you when you like did it happen when you started the game or when you got more into it so at first I thought this would be like a fun game like people would be playing they'll help each other and stuff but then when people got more bitcoin start like like trying to do stuff that like get people like get mad at them and they started to be like toxicity then they start buying stuff with their butt coins and they just keep meaner and meaner and try to flex on people i have this you don't i have this much bitcoins how much do you have i i get to buy this you don't can you buy me this blah 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 and I think this should be just a fun, nice game where people can enjoy games like Girl Tag and other games like this. And I think people can just like have fun, be nice to each other, and do like kind stuff with each other, not be so mean. So what you're telling me is that you think the currency started the whole toxicity thing? All right, that's pretty good. Thank you for the interview. So when did you exactly start this game and when did you get to notice that there were toxic people in the game? Oh yeah, my friend told me about this game. I mean, he said it was Fortnite and Minecraft and Gorilla Tag. And at the time I played a lot of Gorilla Tag, so I thought it would it'd be fun. Played like two games after, two days after release. And the first time I, I experienced toxicity was on my first day. There was a sky base with those stasis chambers. It was a really new feature. So basically nobody, nobody knew about it. And I just had a lot of fun, but then a griefer came up and destroyed everything with a bat. All right, so what do you think started toxicity? What set things to go into <sighs> what is right now? Okay, I, I, I think sky base griefing is basically the first thing of to toxicity. I used to build a lot of sky bases, but they'd always get destroyed. Like the most of them got destroyed in wilds, which is pretty bad. Um, yeah, I think sky base griefing started the whole thing. All right. So when did you start Yeeps, and how did you get to notice toxicity in the game? Well, um, when I um I got my VR as an early birthday present, of course. And, um, of course, I, I downloaded Gorilla Tag because of how much Jim and Curly I used to watch. Um, now I watch, like, yours and other users. But, um, yeah, I really like Gorilla Tag, and that was the first thing that came to mind. But then I, I liked it so much that I, um, was getting some fan games, and Yeep, Sign, and Seek was the best one of them all and um i just kind of picked it out and bam it's my newest thing um until gorilla tag got the uh building update uh i 
I thought he was gonna be just like a knockoff of Yeeps. But sadly... It wasn't. So, what I did is I, like, loaded into Gorilla Tag, and I was so hyped about the update. Noticed that it was actually really fun. I hanged around inside, like, that update for two weeks um, while I was still standing, and then it got closed off. Then I went back to Yeep's Hide and Seek, and bam. All right, so I have one more question before we get on to finding toxic people. What do you think toxicity formed from? What started it in this game? Okay, so I think what started it is, like, how many people started, like, grieving Skybases, like, let's say this was just, like, a Skybase, this pillow. Mm-hmm. And, like, a bunch, like, a group of people kept doing this to it. We tried to rebuild it, and, uh, yeah, uh, like, you try to rebuild it, but they destroy it every single time. And, uh, we all hated it. Um, some people still do it, um, because they think it's fun. Yeah, I actually noticed this, that in the lobby that I was in before this. Everyone, is Yeeps toxic? Yeah. Yes! So mostly what I got from the people I interviewed was currency and skyblocks that made toxicity a thing in this game. And I can confirm that Yeeps is toxic. So if this video was entertaining and you want to see a part two on this, please like and subscribe and have a good day. See ya.